This is the brand new anodized aluminum frame that we had BT's welding make for the Taco Marine project boat. And welcome back. We're again in Titusville, Florida at a company called Vectorworks. And actually, who I was able to wrangle to join us today as the president of the company, this is Jeff Gray. And Jeff, thank you so much for helping out with the charity. This is gonna be fantastic. A little while back, we had a brand new anodized aluminum frame made for the Taco Marine Project Boat, which is going to a special charity to help with juvenile diabetes. It's called the I'm Logan Foundation. And our original thoughts were to take the original hardtop, plug some holes, ferret, and paint it. But my team discovered some real issues with it. It was literally disintegrating on the inside. It, yeah. it was rotted. It was crushing, there, there were waves, and it really wasn't to the caliper of Shipshape TV. I wanted to get the best brains behind possibly coming up with a mold to fabricate a new hard top, and, and that's what your team has done. Yep. We took the, the frame that BT's made and scanned it, digitized it, so that we could have the geometry that would fit just inside the hard top. Your team also made a lot of calls to the owner of the boat, okay, the Kushners who own Taco Marine, and you were asking about some specific fishing equipment. Taco is very known in the fishing world. You know, like the Grand Slam outriggers that you can kind of crank up or out from down below. Um, they have the antenna mounts and all of that. You called me up and, and had me come to Titusville and look at the monitor for what you built in TAD. And, and you were rotating it around and everything else. How, how, do, how do you make a mold from a CAD drawing? Well, in that, in that CAD file, one of the great things about Taco, too, is there, there are 3D models of all their components. So we can drop their components into the 3D model to place them on, on the top. And then get all the geometry just right. From that geometry, then, generate a tool path for the CNC machines to cut the shape out. And, and that's a whole lot different than doing it by eye. If, 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 you know, especially like if you're making a plug and you're trying to just, oh, is that straight or whatever. When it's computerized, it's perfect. Um, if you want to have an exact mirror flip, you, you can do that with technology. The symmetry is perfect. This is a limited production tool, and the, the reason why we went that route for this project is we're only going to build one part. Okay. And for limited production tool, short runs, uh, this tool works well. It costs a great deal less. It's much more, uh, it's much faster to get it to market because you only machine once instead of making a, an additional mold. Okay, take a look at this mold, guys. Okay, do you see how it's for the hull? And do you see all of the metal pipes kind of welded around that? What do you, what do you call that type of mold? That's a production tool, and that's, that can build hundreds, potentially thousands of parts if it's, if it's handled properly. So that's a much more expensive process Far more with expensive. that type of mold. Correct. This is much more affordable when you're doing limited amounts of parts and we're only doing one. Now you did put a lot of high tech into this because we here did. was our challenge. We, we already had a very nice brand new anodized aluminum frame for the hardtop made. We discovered we had a bad hardtop that was supposed to go on right. to it. Right. All right, we brought it to your place here in Titusville. What did your team do to the frame to get us a hardtop? Right, we couldn't let you go with that old hardtop. We needed to develop something okay. new. So, okay. this, when you last saw it in the computer, this was the underside. We've laid in the, the wire chases. Right. We have the electronics box that we engineered in. Okay. And ultimately, all of this will marry to this, over This here. over here, this is the top side to the new hardtop exactly. for the taco marine project boat and and what are these recesses Those out are front fan tail lights fan tail lights yep now what what is the bonding agent that's going to kind of put the bottom side and and yeah. marry it to the top side what do you guys use we use a methacrylate adhesive we're going to be using in this case we're going to be using acrylock it's a methyl you're, methacrylate you're like at the adhesive. top of your game how how is that compared to some of the other methacrylates that are out there it's we found it to be very reliable, very predictable, high strength, high elongation. It's a very tough, tenacious material. It's the best that we can find. Well, yes, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have the methacrylate adhesive around the perimeter and at all the, the hard contact points. Right. In between those, the big flats are gonna be bonded using a, a polyester-based bonding putty. So we will we'll hot coat those with polyester resin first, 
let that kick, we'll apply the bonding putty, and then we'll marry the two. Okay, so, so literally your team is going to pick the underside up, yeah. put it into the top side, the two are gonna come together, exactly. and then do we have to weight that at all? We will. We'll, uh, we've got some plywood call plates to spread the load out, and we'll put sandbags on. Okay. And I now see that we have some sandbags down into the part, just holding the two pieces together. Correct. And I know that you do things a lot higher tech than this. We're only making one of these. Correct. You know, naturally, once the mold's made, um, you spray in the gel coat, and then you put in the glass and, and the core material. You did a different technique on the resin. You, you didn't just hand lay it up. How, how does that resin go in, and what's the advantage? This was vacuum infused. Uh, the advantage is it's lighter, it's stronger, it's uh, better resin to glass ratio, and, and just a better overall product. How many boat builders do you work with? Hundreds. Uh, it, the lion's share of boat builders out there, one time or another, we've built their tool. Okay. Where do we go from here? It's, it's in a mold. Okay, I, I know that you set the cure time for the methacrylate adhesive as well as the polyester putty. How soon before we can pop this out? We set this for about 60 minutes. Okay. So as soon as it's done, we'll be able to trim this flange and flip it over and put it right on the aluminum frame. So we would do a dry fit Correct. onto this.